Hi plant friends, it's orchid season. It's been quite gloomy over the last couple of weeks. Today it's nice and sunny, so it's a perfect time to shoot a video for you. The orchids have really enjoyed the cool fall temperatures. They've thrown off quite a bit of spikes, but I need to clean these guys up. I've got old spikes from last year that I need to cut back. This little beauty got quite top heavy over the summer. She actually fell over and broke two spikes. Thank goodness she suffered no setbacks with the fall. She's pushed out two new spikes. Her existing spike that did not break is lengthening and branching. So plant friends, I like to wait until my spikes are completely dry before cutting. It is a little bit untidy and unkept, but I like my orchids to do their own natural thing. If you prefer it to be nice and neat, you can definitely cut the spikes after they're done blooming. But I like to take advantage of the extra bonus of the spikes branching or doing something unusual like putting out a keiki. I try not to touch my orchids, you know, I find that it's quite dangerous reaching in right now to cut the spikes, the old spikes, because you could accidentally break one of the new spikes and that would be devastating. Last year I wasn't able to cut the spike fully down, this year it's a little bit more accessible. This is where I listen to my orchid. It's telling me exactly where to cut. And look, just below the die back, it's starting to branch. This could have been an accident waiting to happen. I just noticed that I was holding the new spike instead of the old branch. This is how accidents happen. nice and tidy and all set for wonderful blooms. The orchids normally bloom December, late December, and continue on to about June. So it's a wonderful, nice, long blooming season for the orchids. And that's one of the reasons why I really like Phalaenopsis orchids. They are really rewarding with their flowers. This little cakey is so happy, it looks like it's pushing out a second spike for this year. Absolutely amazing, we'll see if that one blooms. Last year this orchid had three spikes. Two spikes broke in the fall, and you can see one of the spikes already branching. The second one's not doing anything, but she's pushed out two new spikes for this year, and her third old spike is branching and lengthening. When she fell last year, she also cracked and split two of her leaves. I thought the fall was gonna be really traumatic on this guy, but she actually pulled through. And then later on in the summer, I scorched her with some sunburn. <laughs> I wasn't laughing when she fell, I actually felt like crying. This was a beautiful display from last year and the height she fell from. I can't wait to see what the blooms are gonna look like. So far we have more spikes than last year, so it's gonna be a wonderful display early next year. 
Now you might be wondering how many orchids are in this pot? Well, initially I started off with three orchids in the pot. Now in this pot, I've got three orchids and two keikis. This is keiki number one. Last year this keiki bloomed and this year she's got a spike. And tucked below growing out of the side of the pot is keiki number two. So beautiful. These beauties get a lot of sun. They get morning sun from the south, and from the west, they'll get evening sun. These beauties have been growing in the same container for about eight years. Initially, I planted them in orchid bark. Now, I think all the bark has degraded, and it's just a pot of roots. I water these beauties one to two times per week, normally on Wednesday and Sunday. They are too big to soak, so I no longer soak these guys. Top watering seems to work great for them, and they're really thriving in this condition. So plant friends, I find that the key to making my orchids bloom is to have cool nighttime temperatures. Since the fall has started, I've not turned on the heat yet. So nighttime temperatures drop to about 18 degrees Celsius or about 65 Fahrenheit. So it's quite cool and I find that the orchids like this and it encourages them to push out spikes. I used to feed these guys with slow release fertilizer every three months, but recently I've switched over to liquid fertilizer. I'm using the Fox Farm Tiger Bloom, so I'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching, plant friends. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and follow me on Instagram at Life of Bellina.